Please, open the door. Molly was petrified. She looked at Jenny down the hall, but Jenny seemed different. Molly didn't understand what was happening. Her self-preservation instincts told her to get out now. Then she saw Jenny was holding a pistol in her hand. Slowly Jenny turned and headed for the living room. In that second the spare bedroom door started shaking violently. Molly wanted to live, but whatever was controlling Jenny, wanted everyone in this apartment dead. Molly sprung into action. She tried to grab Jenny from behind to stop her from entering the living room, but to no avail. Whatever was controlling Jenny was far beyond human strength. Then Molly heard the spare bedroom silently open, something entered the hallway behind her. Molly could sense her doom was near, everything got real quiet, then she heard a kindly voice, coming from the hall closet door, she was standing close to. Jenny still had her back to her, but had stopped moving, the thing that had entered from the spare bedroom, had stopped moving as well. Molly was trapped between two evil entities, then again she heard the kindly voice from the hall closet speak again. Please, open the door. Please, open the door. Please, open the door. Molly did exactly that. In the closet was a kind-faced young woman. From an earlier time, the young woman spoke, My name is Pearl. In that same second Pearl pushed Molly into the closet, slamming the door behind her. Molly heard two loud unearthly shrieks, then everything grew very quiet, then Molly heard Pearl softly whisper, Please, don't fear me. Please, don't open this door? What will happen at 308 and Gridley this night?